A leader must be a man of conviction, a man of principles, high in energy. I like aggressive leadership. I am Farah Al Barwani, and I'm here to share with you some of my insights about leadership through this series. Most of the times, we think a good leader should always be successful, should always produce results, and must always reach the goal. However, in reality, does it happen always? At times, there are various other factors which create hindrance to the achievement of that leader. The leader and the team may be performing everything really well, yet the results may not show it. When this happens on a regular basis, the leader gets discouraged and even the team starts giving up. Hence, it is important for any leader to have the resilience factor. I remember one of the organizations that I'm involved with where it had a team that was performing very well, overshooting their targets, receiving awards, and then suddenly, due to some external factors, they started facing setbacks and failures. Right in front of my eyes, I could see the leader losing focus and caving in to the challenging situation and the team slowly began to lose track. They were discouraged and started to lose the battle even without fighting. That's when I realized that the leader was lacking the resilience factor. A true leader shines, not just during the good times, but through the darkest moments. The leader shines brighter to drive his team to success. That's when these three points don't to me. Number one, consistency is the key. Never stop doing your basic duties just because things are going bad around you. Never stop doing your best practices. It may not yield results at the time due to the market situation, but eventually it will help. So consistency is the key. Number two, keep up a positive spirit. Have fun and celebrate even small successes. Enjoy with your team members and celebrate even a small achievement. Make it a big deal. Number three, think long term. Leadership is not a sprint, it is a marathon. Therefore, only the resilient will survive in the long term. These three simple points help me to have the resilience factor. If you have found this video useful, like, share, and subscribe to Studio T. Turn on that notification and keep tabs on us for many more insightful videos. Stay safe and stay healthy. This is Tarak Al Barwani. Ma'asalama.